Yeah, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition training and hormone expert and Prometheus Pro bodybuilder with Prometheus HRT, the world's best testosterone and hormone replacement clinic. Use my code SPARTAN to save on either testosterone or HGH replacement therapy. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Decker Durable and Unleashed like you've never heard it before. Guys, we're going to be going through all the pros, unbiased, uncensored, then we're going to go through the cons. Again, unbiased, uncensored, everything you could want to know. We're going to go through dosing, and then we're going to finish up with any extra additional information uh, that nobody knows and that nobody is talking about. So guys, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So I want to note, guys, I want to go on the record here. Make sure you stick around for when I go through the cons. There are a lot of crazy, terrible, severe uh, damaging cons with DECA. Um, you know, de most people have no idea that DECA arguably is worse than even a drug like Trenbolone. What? What did you say? You know, people think it's mild, you know, lesser side effects. And to one extent, on the outside, that's true. But DECA Durabolin is the silenced gun hormone, okay? It, it appears like it's safe, it's soft. Oh, you don't have many uh, side effects. But guys, it does terrible, terrible things to the heart based on some of the recent, uh, the best recent medical studies we have. This drug is far 11 times more dangerous than testosterone in terms of heart damage and heart issues to the lining uh, of the blood vessels. We're going to get into that in a second. Let's go through the pros. Here we go. Decadurable and unleashed like you've never heard it before. Starting with the pros, anabolic androgenic rating or ratio of 125 to 37 androgenic. What does this mean? This means on paper using uh, the regular uh, scientific method uh, or rating system to rate anabolic steroids is both the anabolic and androgenic component. Anabolic 125 meaning that it is about one fourth uh, more anabolic than testosterone milligram per milligram. Uh, going over to the androgenic side with a 37 rating, guys, it's less than half. Uh, of testosterone in terms of androgenic side effects. We're talking about secondary sex characteristics, you know, hair growth, deepening of the voice, uh, you know, pit hair, uh, you know, uh, anything that encompasses secondary sex characteristics. We're talking about a 37, uh, which is about one third uh, of the androgenic component of testosterone. And this guy's, we're going to talk more on this in a second, but this guy's is because uh, when Decadurabolin, the base hormone is nandrolone. When nandrolone en enters the bloodstream, it's going to convert not into DHT like dihydrotestosterone via the 5-alpha five, five uh, re reductase enzyme, but it's going to convert into DHN, dihydronandrolone. And DHN is an extremely, extremely weak uh, androgen for that matter. So that's where that weaker... Uh, androgenic rating comes from no DHT conversion uh, or into a strong metabolite converts into the extremely weak DHN now this has some problems with fat loss and other things and also this is going to cause some huge issues uh, we're going to talk about in the in the con side on both mood and also sexual functioning we'll get into that in the cons but let's keep moving forward with the pros okay we address the anabolic androgenic ratio rating system what is Decadurabolin? Decadurabolin is a 19 nor derivative. Remember the base, uh, base compound is nandrolone. So uh, nandrolone, Decadurabolin is a 19 nor derivative anabolic steroid. Uh, what does this mean? This means that it's that the perks of, the reason that it's over in the pro side to begin with is because a 19 nor derivative steroid is gonna have less conversion into estrogen about 20% compared to testosterone. So then that's another reason they do this. So 19 nor derivative, less conversion into estrogen. Some 19 nor derivatives, almost no conversion depending on uh, you know the chemical structure and it's binding for the aromatase enzyme. Uh, but when we're talking about decadurable and about 20% estrogen conversion compared to testosterone. And also this is gonna make it more anabolic uh, 
you know, just on a baseline being a 19 nor derivative. So this is what gives it its slight bump in anabolic rating and also gives it its low estrogen conversion. That's why it's in the pros. This comes with many cons. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, next, moving down the line, this has to be talked about and everybody's waiting for this. Joints, tendons, ligaments. Decadurabolin is one of those anabolic steroids that namely, guys, uh, everybody talks about for joint relief. Oh, it lubes the joints. It feels good. Uh, you know, it, it's the steroid for the joints. You don't have joint pain, all this other stuff, right? Why? Why do people say these things? Well, it's not really, uh, you know, the lubing the joints that pulls water into the joints. This is not really the case, although maybe it might maybe a little bit of the case just because DECA causes water retention, not really through estrogen, but because it is a progestin, which means it attaches onto progesterone receptor sites and it can cause a little retention that way but outside of that the main reason for this lubing the joints is going to be caused why because the anabolic steroid decadurabolin causes collagen synthesis much higher than testosterone or any other anabolic steroids for that matter period so joints tendon ligaments healing Increased collagen synthesis in uh, in these tissues. So this is what's going to give DECA its uh, almost seemingly magical um, joint repair, healing, uh, you know, comfort effects, if you want to call it that. Um, and, and it's really, guys, you know, it's not just taking away the symptoms. A lot of people don't know this. They think it's just, oh, it takes away the symptoms. DECA actually does heal the joints. Okay? Needs to be said. We'll give credit where credit is due. Again, unbiased, uncensored. Moving on. Decadurabolin Unleashed. Low androgenic ratio or rating. Now, why is this in the pros? We're not really going to talk about, you know, it doesn't have much of an anabolic boost. Not in the real world and not on paper. So that's not really, we're not going to add that to the pros. However, guys, however, it does have an extremely low androgenic rating. Ratio, what does this mean? This means androgenic sides such as, and this, this is a huge list, please. This is a huge list. Go watch my video on Testosterone Unleashed if you want me to go through tons and tons of androgenic uh, side effects. Let me give you a few though. What are some androgenic side effects from high amounts of androgens in the male body? High blood pressure, number one. High blood pressure, and then from the high blood pressure, you can have Kidney damage, now, now that's if androgens are really high, but high blood pressure from androgens, oily skin, you can have, you can have DHT acne is what you can call it. Uh, so high blood pressure, DHT acne, you can have uh, you know, excessive hair growth, uh, insomnia, uh, it can give you anxiety, um, that's usually not unless it's at higher dosages, and other DHT androgen side effects. So being low androgenic, again, by nature, converts instead of into DHT via the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, it converts into what? DHN, dihydronandrolone. Okay, uh, moving on in the pros. Osteoporosis drug, what does this mean? It means DECA is commonly, not, com not just commonly, DECA is well known by doctors and physicians same thing, I guess. Doctors and clinics and medical centers inside the medical world, DECA causes what? Calcium synthesis in bone tissue, which means that this drug is an excellent drug for treating osteoporosis. Uh, now, granted, if we're talking, you know, comparing this to testosterone, it's not really, you know, testosterone and DECA in terms of bone synthesis one could argue testosterone does a better job. Putting it out here, okay? However, you're not gonna give testosterone unless it's microdosing to women, and you're not definitely not gonna give it to children. So with DECA, in small doses, dosages, again under doctor supervision, you can, you can microdose or small dose women and children for treatment of osteoporosis or weak bones. Okay, has to be said. Okay, moving on in the pros. 15 day half-life. 
Decadura Bolin boasts a 15-day half-life in its natural form. We'll also talk about NPP in a different video just because I want to keep things moving. I did my Testosterone Unleashed video. Guys, we got everything out, but it was about an hour long. So talking about getting everything you need to know in one video, we did that. So, uh, you know, and guys, again, the whole purpose of these videos is to give you everything you need to know in one video and then get you guys on your way. So... Uh, with a 15-day half-life, with regular Decadurabolin, uh, we are talking about the decoinate ester attached onto Nandrolone. Um, and guys, really, um, a 15-day half-life is going to do a couple things. It's going to give you a slow release into the bloodstream. It's going to be easier to control in terms of sides. Uh, but there's, gonna, there's a major drawback. It's hard to get out of your body if you're having bad sides. And also... Um, you do have to, or you don't have to, but front loading would be recommended. Uh, you know, this do not front load if you're doing an actual cycle. I'm talking about uh, with doctors and dosages that way. Uh, small dosages, front loading would be advised. Um, guys, that's pretty much it. If, you know, I really wanted to talk about all the pros. I want to keep this video again, not skewing it to the left or to the right, unbiased, uncensored. Um, we're going to get into the cons now since this is really all the pros that you can talk about with DECA. Okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a good mass builder for the most part, but the reason that it's not listed under the pros is because testosterone does a much, much better job of building muscle than DECA. Why? You can dose it a lot higher. So, you know, and it's only on paper and real world slightly more anabolic than testosterone, but overall testosterone is going to build more muscle. So it's not really worth putting into the pros as a, as an amazing muscle builder. All right. All right. So, uh, moving on now guys into the cons, stay with me. Things are going to get really intense, really fast. So let's go into the cons. Here we go. DECA unleashed cons with DECA plaque buildup in the arteries and cardiovascular disease and heart wall thickening this is the worst the absolute worst uh, side effect with deca durabolin and guys namely this is the worst side effect with every single anabolic steroid either misuse or abuse the big problem here guys i can't stress this enough the big big problem here with deca is what deca compared to testosterone 11 times more damage to the heart and blood vessels. We're talking about the lining of the arteries, the lining of blood vessels. Mind blown. Absolutely mind blown. So 1,000 milligrams of testosterone comparable to 1,000 milligrams, 1,000 milligrams of testosterone, 1,000 milligrams of DECA. That's about the equivalent of taking 11 grams, 11,000 milligrams of uh, testosterone mind blown and you wonder why bodybuilders are dropping dead i mean i this is this is this is this is we need more 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 information on this but based on a recent italian study done recent italian study done nandrolone stops ethelial cells from growing 11 times uh, faster at an 11 times lower dosage than testosterone. What does this mean? It damages blood vessels 11 times faster. Boom. I mean, it, it's nuts. People, you know, we didn't know this until recently. So, you know, in terms of, you know, what can I say? You know, in layman's terms, guys, I guess I want to just wrap this point up and move on. But it's a huge point, so I should make a big deal out of it. If you're taking 100 milligrams of DECA, that's just as bad as taking 1,100 milligrams of testosterone in terms of damaging your heart and arteries. All right? Silence added for emphasis. All right, moving on. All right, we talked about plaque buildup in the arteries, cardiovascular disease, and heart wall thickening. Uh, I guess I didn't really talk on the heart wall thickening. Heart wall thickening refers to what? It refers to when... You abuse or misuse anabolic steroids at their respective dosages, and the heart wall 
actually gets thicker and hypertrophies, which does what? It makes the heart not able to pump as much blood out, thereby what? Decreasing the overall working uh, cardiovascular um, ejection volume of blood that you can eject into your body. So it's in, law, in layman's terms, you have a weaker heart, all right? So, you know, this, is, this one is not going to be as, as big of a deal. The heart wall thickening is probably, you know, right around that of testosterone, so it's not a bigger deal. A big problem with DECA is what? Like we talked about, plaque buildup in the arteries and cardiovascular disease. All right? We talked about that. Moving on. All right, guys. Progestin sides. Progestin sides. Now... This needs to be talked about because with testosterone, you take large amounts of testosterone, what's going to happen? Estrogen is going to spike through the roof and it's going to cause lots of estrogen side effects, right? You don't have that problem with DECA because the conversion is 20%. So unless you are taking grams, grams, guys, not milligrams, grams of DECA, you're not really going to have a problem with what? Estrogen conversion, right? So that's not the case. What is the case is, is that DECA durable and by nature is a 19 nor derivative, which makes it a progestin, which means that what? It's going to bind to progesterone receptor sites. This is going to cause not estrogen issues or high estrogen issues. This is going to cause high prolactin issues. You can get prolactin gyno. You can get uh, water retention from prolactin. You can get a myriad of nasty uh, high progestin uh, side effects from taking DECA. All right, and it's, and it's extremely difficult to control these side effects. Why? Because DECA is attaching onto those progesterone receptor sites. Again, it's progestin. Um, guys, uh, you know, and, and go to Google, type in, uh, um, type in uh, progesterone, uh, high progesterone side effects in either men or women, and you can look at this list for yourself. My personal opinion. Don't touch this stupid hormone. Please, just save yourself some pain and suffering. Don't touch it, all right? It is way more deadly than testosterone, and it can be argued that DECA is more deadly than Tremble, okay, in terms of beating up your body. Moving on. Um, guys, next on the list of cons is mood. Mood side effects. We're talking anxiety, depression, uh, you know, feeling just like a piece of garbage, uh, you know, you just, just, just the opposite of, you know, well-being. Okay. Why? Two reasons for this. Reason number one is because DECA durabolin is by nature of progesterone. You're going to have the symptoms or you can have the symptoms of high progesterone in men. And that is nasty. It is absolutely nasty. Okay. So you're going to have terrible so mood side effects from the progesterone. We're not done. And then you're going to have terrible side effects from DHN, the conversion of nandrolone into dihydronandrolone. What does this mean, guys? This basically means that that DHN molecule, dihydronandrolone, after the nandrolone converts via the 5-alpha um, reductase enzyme, it means that the DHN is going to float and attach onto your brain because we have uh, androgen receptor sites in our brain. And the problem with DHN is, is that it has almost no androgenic uh, component to it, which means what? What does this mean? Low confidence, low self-esteem. You feel, you, you, you don't feel good. You don't, you feel like a weak beta male. Okay, that's the best way I could put this into terms. I mean, that's not medical terminology, but that's the best way I can put it. Uh, you, you, 200, let's... 300 milligrams of testosterone versus 300 milligrams of DECA day and night. 300 milligrams of, of regular pharmaceutical grade testosterone is going to make you feel like a million bucks. You're going to feel amazing, happy, confident. 300 milligrams of just DECA, you're going to feel like, like just a depressed slob. Okay, I, I'm just being blunt, honest with you guys. And, and there's a lot of people that are saying, oh no, DECA, you know, I feel good on DECA. Guys, a lot of DECA is really just testosterone unless you're getting it from a pharmacy. Okay, I'm just giving it to you guys how it is. Moving on, DECA Unleashed. Um, severe sexual side effects. And this is why 
because it converts to DHN, dihydronandrolone. So what happens is, in the male anatomy, So now you have DHN attaching not only into the brain, you know, giving you the side effects we talked about with, you know, mood problems, anxiety, depression, you know, oh, just you're a weak male feeling, but also it's going to attach onto your penile tissue. Moving on. Uh, we talked about this a little bit. Decadurabolin is the silenced gun hormone. What does this mean? It means on the surface, when people talk about DECA and when people compare what it was like being on DECA, they say, oh, I didn't have barely any sides. Oh, it's so mild. It's so nice. It's a, on the surface, DECA is the nicest, kindest, want to be your friend hormone, anabolic steroid, but it is wicked. It is absolutely wicked and harsh on your body. Why? We talked about decadurabolin causes 11 times the damage of testosterone to your heart and surrounding tissues and blood vessels. But it can be argued that it could cause you 11 times the damage to your heart and cardiovascular health. We're talking about cardiovascular disease, guys. So it, it, DECA is not a, a, fr a friendly, mild anabolic steroid. It is a nasty, nasty drug. Okay, it's a nasty anabolic steroid. And it's going to cause, it might be nice on the surface. You might, you might even not have such bad side effects with DECA. But one thing you're going to have is it... it it's going to be destroying your health from the inside out. Again, silence gun hormone. Moving on. All right. Man, this hormone's stressing me out as it, as it is. Let's go on. Uh, worse, the medical studies, guys, it is worse on cholesterol and lipid profile than testosterone. Milligram per milligram. DECA is worse on your cholesterol and lipid profile, HDL to LDL, then testosterone, well, go figure. It's a, it's a 19 or it's a nandrolone. So, you know, obviously, this, this you know, and that we confirm it by medical studies. Uh, terrible shutdown from DECA. It is a nandrolone. 19 or nandrolone, what does this mean? Female birth control. A lot of the time, you've heard of progestin birth control for women. Well, not only do you get the shutdown, why? Not only do you get the androgenic shutdown because uh, DECA still binds onto androgen receptor sites in the brain, shutting down natural testosterone that way. Not only do you get that because it is a, uh, it, it attaches onto androgen receptor sites. So not only do you get, get the shutdown from that, but you also get shut down because it's a progestin. Progestin shut down the release of LH and FSH from the pituitary gland, which is going to stimulate your testicles to produce testosterone. So what does this mean? You're going to get two kinds of shutdown in your brain. And altogether, medical studies show, again, guys, that decadurabolin shuts you down more milligram per milligram than testosterone. Point. Emphasis added. Uh, moving on in the cons. Terrible for strength gains. Now there's going to be some people that fight me on this. And I already, I already know what I'm going to tell you. Either one, you think you're using DECA and you're really using testosterone. Okay, because testosterone is the best anabolic steroid in the world for strength gains. Again, not for immediate, like taking it right before a meet. There's other drugs that people do for that. But I'm talking about the greatest. Testosterone is the greatest anabolic steroid for strength gains, period. Okay, just that's how it is. So... It's terrible for strength gains. Why? Number one, you guys already know what I'm going to say. It converts from nandrolone into not DHT, DHN, which is the one of the weakest androgens on the face of the planet. So not only is it going to, you know, literally kill your male ability, uh, you know, with the, the male sexual sides we talked about, but what are androgens responsible for? Increased Pain tolerance, increased firing power on the central nervous system. So you are taking an axe, an absolute axe to your strength gains. And the people, again, that are fighting me, you know, a lot of the time DECA isn't DECA, it's testosterone. Or it's mixed with testosterone. And even more of the time, let's say you are, you know, if you, let's say you do make some strength gains. It's possible to make some strength gains with DECA. I mean, it's, it's anabolic. 
but a lot of the strength gains are because it's a progesterone and it's making you hold water. So more water, you have more weight to throw around. Anybody who's ever lifted a weight knows that it's, it's much easier. The heavier you weigh, the easier it is to lift, whether it's bench, squat, curling, anything. Moving on. DECA is terrible for strength gains. We address that. All right, guys, we're going to move into dosage, uh, dosing now. Crazy video. There's just so much stuff to talk about with this. Of course, this is still a lot shorter than what my testosterone video. So let's get into this. Uh, dosing. Guys, dosing. My personal opinion to you and my personal plea to you, never use this drug. If you care about living, if you care about your health, if you care about your body at all, do not use Deca Durabola. There are lots of people, you know, again, I'm, I'm with the hormone replacement clinic for a reason. A lot of people, they think that, in, and you can even get Deca Durabolin with a prescription from Prometheus HRT. Why? Because uh, Deca Durabolin is, uh, you know, physicians can easily write prescriptions for that. It's been around since almost at the same time of testosterone. So even though my clinic, you know, you can get Deca Durabolin, a lot of, you know, the physicians there will prescribe it to you if you're healthy. But even that aside, aside, you know, guys, please, that what I'm telling you is not, it has no, um, there's no value for me to tell you what I'm telling you, except, you know, because I'm being legitimate and honest with you guys. My personal is opinion and my plea to you guys, never use Decadurabolin. Why? Because even though it might seem like the nicest anabolic steroid in the world, it is going to destroy your health. And, you know, at about, at, you know, these studies that are showing 11 times, DECA causes 11 times the damage than testosterone to your heart and arteries and blood vessels. Is this drug worth using? Absolutely not. Why? Because we already know that testosterone at a high dose just causes plaque buildup in the arteries. So if you care about living, if you care about not dying, if you care about your health, don't use DECA. Okay. But if you don't care, then, then I'm, I'll give you a dosage, but I'm not telling you to do this. I'm gonna give you a dosage just because this is Decadurable and Unleashed. So if you don't care about living, if you don't care about your health, I wrote here up to 750 milligrams per week. Why no higher? Because Deca is, cannot and will not be utilized uh, you know, at a higher rate like testosterone. What does this mean? You can't take as much Decadurable and have your body use all of it like you could of testosterone. We see that testosterone, your body can just keep sucking it up, sucking it up, sucking it up, sucking it up. It's your body's natural hormone. You can get bigger, stronger, faster. Testosterone is the best anabolic steroid for size, strength, and everything total. Okay, why? Not because it's the strongest milligram per milligram, but because your body can utilize the most of it. I talk about this in my testosterone video. We see with Anavar or Anavar, Anadrol, other anabolic steroids that have a much higher anabolic rating than testosterone, <clears throat> they cap out. They, they, you know, you get the gains and then all of a sudden you take a higher dosage and there's no benefit. With testosterone, even at 600 milligrams a week, you're still, you know, you get a little bit of uh, loss and efficiency at building muscle or effectiveness at building muscle, but your body is able to utilize much higher doses of testosterone than any other anabolic steroid. And, you know, based on what I know, it's the same way with DECA. So what is the point of going above 700, 700 anything over 750, you know, you, unless you're running DECA alone, no, there's no reason to go higher than 750. You want to make those gains off of testosterone. Again, I'm not telling you guys to do that. Uh, you know, I would tell you guys, there's, if you care about your health, don't go over 250 milligrams of testosterone, uh, you know, for continuous usage. You know, I talked to my doctor, my physician at Prometheus HRT, 500 milligrams of testosterone can be used uh, short term uh, safely. But again, that's not something you want to do. Even 500 milligrams for years and years and years, you're going to be causing, again, what we talked about, plaque buildup in the arteries, cardiovascular disease, and heart wall thickening. Guys, I'm going to finish up with some things, some extra things you need to know about DECA that nobody else is talking about. And then we are out of here. Here we go. So, extra. DECA. DECA is one of the most famous bodybuilding drugs of all time. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dorian Yates, 
golden era bodybuilders, and even today, people are still using what? I'm gonna roll my shoulders a little bit. DECA durable, and DECA is extremely popular. And it, you know, it has been since bodybuilding came out and athletics came out, fitness industry came out. DECA is extremely popular. And, you know, that's one of the only steroids they had at the time. Test, DECA, Primabol, and Deanabol. That's pretty much all they had in the golden era. So, obviously, DECA was up there. However, guys, you already know what I'm going to say. They had no idea the damage DECA does to the heart and arteries and blood vessels. We know now, based on, based on you know, that Italian study that came out. Um, having said that, um, that's, that's the reason it's, it's, it's famous today. But if you're a bodybuilder and, you know, you care about your health, testosterone only, guys, really, honestly, testosterone only or low dose, you know, Anavar, Anadrol, you can get these things from Prometheus HRT with a prescription from a doctor, pharmaceutical grade, as long as you qualify. Um, but, you know, testosterone is the only safe anabolic steroid to take long term uh, with Anadrol, Anadrol, Anavar, you know, other things or even testosterone at slightly higher dosages for short periods of time. Otherwise, guys, other than that, it's misuse or abuse. Again, do everything through your doctor safely and legally. Uh, finishing out, guys, another thing is, is that you may or may not know, people use DECA a lot of the time as a winstrel counter. They use DECA to counter the nasty dry joints effect from winstrel. So this is not winstrel unleashed video. We will do a, lit, uh, we will do a winstrel unleashed video but I will tell you this, Winstrel causes dry, achy joints, the dry joints effect, why? Because Winstrel actually binds onto what? Estrogen receptor sites all over the body, everywhere in the body, including the ones in the joint capsules that produce synovial fluid. Winstrel attaches on there and uh, basically causes um, an anti-estrogenic effect. Much like Novadex, you take a lot of Novadex, you're gonna have dry joints, the same sort of thing with Winstrel. Winstrel actually attaches onto and binds to estrogen receptor sites everywhere in the body. This, this is what gives you the shrink wrapped look, but it also gives you the dry and painful joints. So what people do a lot of times is they take DECA and Winstrel together, which is extremely stupid because you're gonna get some progestin, uh, progestin um, uh, water weight from the doing that. Uh, so, but, you know, that's something that has to be said, uh, that people use DECA in combination with Winstrel to take, to take off the sides, but they're, it's, it's, it's pretty much pointless because the pain from Winstrel is not from, uh, you know, problems with the joints and tendons, ligaments. The problem from Winstrel is, is that you take Winstrel and it's going to reduce the amount of synovial fluid in your joints. Why? Because Winstrel is blocking uh, uh, the aromatase enzyme from converting testosterone into estrogen in the joints. Completely different thing, but we'll get into that in the Winstrel Unleashed video. Guys, this is DECA Durable and Unleashed. Everything you could ever want to know in one video. DECA Durable and Unleashed like you've never heard it before. Seth Spartan, stay safe, stay healthy, do everything right, and we are out of here.